Question 8c says find the intersection of 2x plus 3 is equal to the mod of 3x plus 4. We can solve this algebraically but I'd like to solve it graphically. So let's start with our spreadsheet and we're going to say x0 is equal to and we'll start with a point of say minus 4 and we're going to say dx which is our incremental step in x and we'll set that equal to 1 for now. We'll have a column for x and we'll have a column for 2x plus 3. We'll have a column for mod 3x plus 4. So the first value of x is going to equal x0 and the next value of x is going to equal the previous value of x plus our change in x dx and we're going to put a dollar in front of the 3 because that doesn't change. Now 2x plus 3 is equal to 2 times x plus 3 and the modulus of 3x plus 4 is equal to abs which is the absolute value of 3 times x plus 4. Okay so if we now copy that down to the next row and then copy that down to say I don't know, about 26 would do wouldn't it? Right so now what we want to do is to draw a graph of the first two columns. So if we select those and say insert a graph and we'll have a graph like that. Now you can see what's going on here. This is our line and as x gets increasingly negative the line will go below the x-axis which is there. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to add the other line to it. So I'm going to say select data. I'm going to add another series. The x values will go from a5 to a26 and the y values will go from c5 to c26. Okay. So now we've got our graph. Now you can see that the area of interest is around here so we don't need to go to these big values. Um, so let's just move the graph up to there and instead of having steps of 1 let's try 0.5 and we can see that's a little bit closer. Let's try 0.1. That's closer still but actually we've fallen off the point of intersection. Now we haven't intersected once so let's Instead of minus 4, let's try minus 2. OK, and you can see the data points here are crossing over. Let's try dx is equal to 0.05. And let's start at x equals minus 1.5. So we can see at minus 1.4, the two lines are coincident. So if we go to minus 1.4, we can see that there's a solution. Both lines are equal to the same value so that is a point of intersection and then we can see here when x is equal to 1 we have another point of intersection so both values are equal to 1. So using a graphical technique we've found the two points of intersection which is x is equal to minus 1.4 and both of the y values are 0.2 and we can see when x equals minus 1 both of the y values are equal to 1 and that gives us the two solutions to question 2c. So how would we put this into baseline? So I would say drawing the lines in Excel and we want the smaller value so we say answer is minus 1.4 and I'm going to copy that Control c and put that into there and the answer this time is minus 1. And those are the two answers I would give to question 8c and d.